you for joining us today. My name is Tori Kistner. I am on the Verkata team here covering the state of California. And today we are going to be talking a little bit more about your school's video security strategy and how Verkata is working with some school districts in the area. So to introduce you guys and to thank you all for your time, you all can receive either this awesome Verkata uh, Rambler or a $25 Amazon gift card. Just need to complete the webinar survey that will be sent to you after this um, pr presentation concludes. Provide a valid work email and shipping address. Just so that you know, the Ramblers will take about three to four weeks to deliver, but gift cards should only take a week. On our agenda for today, I am joined by Ramin, a great friend and colleague over at IT Management. He's going to give an overview of IT Management and just provide some additional color on his end. We'll talk a little bit more about school video strategy and then Verkata specifically. So what is our hybrid cloud technology? How are we working with others in the area? And we'll dive into the product demonstration and leave a little bit of time at the end for Q&A. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Ramin to talk a little bit more about IT management. Thank you, Tori. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ramin Movahedi. I serve as the Vice President of Advanced Technologies at IT Management Corporation. Uh, it's a delight to have you here, and I'm certain that you will find this uh, webinar quite uh, informative and useful uh, uh, by the time you're finished. For those of you who know about IT management, thank you for coming, it's good to see you. Those of you who don't know who we are or don't know much about our company, uh, it's a great opportunity for me to uh, introduce IT management, a Silicon Valley based technology service provider uh, that uh, goes through a span of north of San Luis Obispo all the way to southern border of Oregon. Um, we don't claim to be able to provide every technology service for every vector, but uh, those that we do, we do really well. Uh, among the areas of expertise for us, we do uh, structured wiring and cabling, we do uh, wireless and wired networking and uh, surveillance and uh, various advanced technology services that are listed on the slide. Uh, we are a, net, a, a vendor agnostic company and today's uh, Verkada uh, presentation uh, in affiliation with us is not because of any special relationship that we have with Verkada. It is simply because um, we find the service and the product that Verkada provides to be superior and we're very happy to be talking to you about it today. Next slide, please. Uh, quick uh, introduction about us and our credentials. As I mentioned, our services span from north of San Luis Obispo all the way to southern border of Oregon. Our headquarters are in Santa Clara and we have offices in San Jose. Uh, we are in Redding, in Tarzana, in Carmel, California, and a few other offices and uh, uh, practically can uh, uh, cover uh, service for services uh, throughout uh, central and northern California. Uh, in terms of expertise, uh, we have some of the most advanced credentials with some of the largest names in the industry. Uh, we are an elite uh, partner with Ruckus Comsbook. We have advanced certifications with Cisco, HP Aruba, etc. So as I said, again, uh, our, uh, our philosophy is not to uh, promote a particular brand. Our philosophy is to promote and recommend the best solution for our clients. Um, you know, uh, in addition to uh, the, the services that we provide here, uh, we are also we also uh, 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 are a phone company, a, a competitive local exchange carrier. Uh, next slide, please. The brands that we have, uh, the the four highlights of the brands that we uh, we provide are a phone company called One Hundred One Voice. Uh, 101 Voice is a hosted, managed uh, provider of uh, voice over IP telephony uh, that uh, primarily caters to government, education, enterprise, and, uh, and some private sectors. So we uh, have designed 101 Voice to be uh, accommodating the special needs of a particular vector uh, or the vertical. And uh, by doing so, we have been able to be uh, serving many of your peers uh, uh, yeah, around you, especially in Northern California and Central Coast. 
Uh, at other things that we do, some are uh, COVID-19 related new services like thermal scan, which I would uh, get, uh, get more details to you uh, in, in a few slides and uh, other services that again uh, are fairly new or uh, Polytons as an example is an automation as uh, uh, application that we use for deploying large uh, networks and it allows us to do very accurate work at a fraction of the time that it usually uh, takes uh, when it comes to configuring and deploying uh, larger networks. We also have a hosted, a cloud hosted uh, uh, service called Galaxy Wi-Fi and Galaxy uh, uh, LTE. And uh, our Galaxy services are basically a hosted, uh, a cloud hosted service for any Wi-Fi or uh, CBRS slash private LTE deployment uh, that uh, we, we can provide. As a government entity, um, those of you who um, uh, our government agencies, uh, we have various uh, master agreements with almost every name, uh, you know, from CMAS to USDTPA, uh, DGS, etc. So uh, many of our products, uh, great many of our products are available through piggybackable uh, master agreements. And we uh, have made, made it quite easy to uh, save you time and the hassle of going out to bid if you prefer to use one of these uh, master agreements. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is a proud page that I have here. Our company uh, is a company that takes its job very serious. Every single person that I work with uh, is extremely interested in the outcome, in a positive outcome, in a long-term relationship uh, with our clients. Uh, that philosophy is also reflected in, internally in our company. Uh, aside from being honored to receive some of the most prestigious awards from our peers uh, for our, not only for our telephony, but also for our networking, for modular, uh, modular data centers and others. We also are recognized as one of the fastest growing companies in the United States by both Inc. 5000 and also uh, by Fast Growth uh, 100 uh, uh, through CRN, the channel company. Uh, but we are also recognized as one of the best places to work at. We are recognized as a company that has one of the most influential uh, women of the channel uh, working, serving as the uh, top executive at the company. And overall, uh, I'm proud to tell you that anything that IT management does, my IT management does with its whole heart in, and uh, hopefully any relationship that we start with those of you who have not worked with us will, as you will see, will lead to a long-term and very successful relationship. Uh, next slide. There are two products that I would like to quickly highlight for you. These are uh, two of the most uh, uh, sought after and, and uh, needed products for the current situation that we have with COVID-19 now and also in the near future when uh, say classrooms uh, start again, for, you know, students will come back to school you both, both uh, before and after these services could be quite uh, useful. Uh, very quickly, OneNumber.io was deployed after COVID-19. It is something that we quickly put together and to prove to be very effective uh, way of providing managed, secure, and compliant telecommunication tool for uh, those who uh, perform their jobs uh, remotely. Uh, teachers, administrators, everyone who uh, you know who works for either school or a government organization who needs to, be, first of all, abide by privacy laws. Uh, secondly, protecting the privacy of the employees who sometimes volunteer their own cell phones or, or other phones. Um, and also for the management of these organizations to be able to, uh, uh, to um, uh, conduct business and, and have visibility to what is going on. Uh, this is an easy to deploy. You don't need to change your phone service and it keeps you compliant. And I would love to tell you more about it. So when we come back at the end of the presentation, uh, we will uh, tell you how you can learn more about this and we can even uh, send you uh, demo units uh, or demo licenses and uh, do a one-on-one -on -one presentation uh, if you wish. Uh, next slide, please. We also have uh, an incredibly robust and effective uh, series of solutions for uh, thermal scanning. Again, um, students will come back sooner or later. 
we expect that there's always going to be some sort of need uh, for pre preventative uh, you know, measures. And there are some really great uh, tools that are available uh, that don't have to be complicated. They don't have to be expensive, but they do a really great job from uh, really robust portable thermal cameras that we have that uh, exceed the capabilities of many of the uh, ones that, are, that I've seen that have been around to uh, the kiosk standalone uh, scanners and uh, also uh, cameras that are meant for large venues that could be attached and, and monitor large number of uh, individuals, whether it's again for school environment or uh, a, a shopping center and, and, and any, anything actually that has uh, big traffic going on. Uh, one thing about these cameras is that uh, uh, everyone more or less is rec recognizing and realizing that these cameras are going to be uh, needed. So many of many are buying them and they go very fast. Uh, I would urge you, those of you who think that there might be a need uh, for thermal camera cameras to discuss this with us and let us make sure that we could maintain an inventory for those who need this. And one more slide, please. Uh, this is the philosophy of our, our, our company with the way we uh, look at technology is that uh, IT runs the world. It is rare for anyone to look at any aspect of our lives these days where technology is not an important component. Uh, we plan, deploy, and IT and manage IT. And uh, for those of you who have not worked with us, we would be honored if we have the opportunity to start uh, that relationship. With that, I thank you very much. You're up for a treat with the Vercada presentation. And at the end, we will talk to you a little bit more about how you can get demo units and other details about the presentation. Thank you, Tori. Amazing. Thanks, Ramin. So with that, as he mentioned, we're going to dive into video security in particular. So a couple main things that I really want to touch on as being super important and really thought provoking points when you're looking at what your video security provider needs to have and, and really what that evaluation criteria should entail. So for us, we really want to make installation super simple for you. Plug and play, easy to scale. Second, familiarization. How easy is this to use from my IT director at the school to the principal to a teacher who might need access? So really want to make Vercada super user friendly and we'll absolutely dive into that. And then finally, maintenance. So how much maintenance are you going to need to put into your camera system over the next five, 10 years, definitely want to take that into consideration. Vercada is going to be an amazing solution for you guys. And, and we'll touch on all of these points as we go through um, the presentation. So just a little, little bit about Vercada before we dive into the platform. In case you're not familiar, we are the fastest growing video security company in the world based just down the road in San Mateo, but have deployments worldwide. Have some of the largest investors, Meritech, Sequoia, Siemens, to name a few. Just recently received our Series C funding, bringing our total valuation to $1.6 billion. Amazing for a private company of our size. And we're using a ton of that money and those funds to really invest in R&D and we'll uh, show you some of the new products that we've come out with that are especially helping schools during this time. So some background about our team, founding team of computer scientists from Stanford and MIT, including Hans Robertson, who also founded Cisco Meraki and then came over to start Vercada. And their goal was to build a scalable operating system so that essentially your entire building security could run on Vercada. We have started with the cameras, we've moved into access control and recently released environmental sensors, which allow you to detect particulate matter in the air, whether that's vape smoke, loud decibels of noise or temperature and humidity. So this might look familiar to some of you all who are handling NVRs, DVRs, perhaps a camera system that was 20 or 30 years old and it looks like a mess because it is. You've got cameras wired into a switch, then into an NVR, having to have some sort of server storage space, whether that's in a closet, a utility closet, something of that nature on your campus. And the only way to monitor these systems is on-prem unless you poke a hole into your firewall, create a VPN, basically opening yourself up to cybersecurity risk. So what Vercada wanted to do was simplify this and allow you to access this footage centrally from any location, anytime. So I know we've got some single location private schools on the line, but we also have some districts. So when you guys are thinking about all of the different schools in your district, we wanted to make it easy for 
those locations, those individuals to quickly toggle and view everything remotely. Don't have to wait for it to buffer. Don't have to wait for it to, you know, go through the VPN and, and open yourself up to that risk. We want you to just have the simplest, most easily centralized way to manage these these cameras and also to scale it so that you're not limited to the number of ports in an NVR or DVR system. You can have unlimited cameras as long as they're just wired into a switch. I briefly touched on our environmental sensor. We just released this about a month ago. We've done a proof of concept with a few districts across the country, and it is truly amazing. We'll dive into this a little bit more, but real good use cases that I see for schools are putting them in locations that perhaps a camera can't be. So think bathrooms and locker rooms where perhaps there's fighting, bullying, vaping in high schools, things of that nature um, can pick up on all of these things so that you have a sense of what's going on um, without invading student privacy by having a camera where perhaps um, is a sensitive area. Last slide I'll touch on here before we get into the presentation, work with about 4,000 organizations across the across the globe. That includes, of course, some tech companies as well as um, our good old schools and universities. And then Kenzie's going to put a number in the chat. If you text your work email address to 888-343-7537, you can actually get a live link shared with you. So as we go through this presentation, I'll be referencing the live link a lot. This is great to share with first responders or police. If you have an intruder, if you have a student that shouldn't be on campus and you want to share out a live link so that someone can easily see where that person is or what's going on. This is the way to do it. And again, you're seeing a screen of a screen. You're seeing my my laptop's Zoom presentation. So this is going to give you a perfectly clear picture of one of our cameras on site and there's a pretty cool view. So I would encourage you guys to do that. And with that, I'm going to hop over into our Vercata platform. So here we are looking at a Google integrated map. So when I mentioned centrally managing all of your locations, this is what I'm referencing. So here we've got one rep down in Australia at Verkada and a small team out in the UK, but the bulk of our cameras are going to be at our HQ in San Mateo. So if I toggle into our Fort Knox setup here, I can't get away with anything at Verkata without being caught on camera. You'll see about 90 cameras lit up in green, every make and model you can imagine. But the reason that they are lit up in green is because they're actively recording, they're online, they're healthy. If a camera were to fall offline, whether you turn off the camera or something happens to it, such as tampering, we have a built-in accelerometer or an occlusion event, think student spray painting it or student covering it with a hat, the camera will light up in yellow and you can receive an SMS, text message, or email notification alerting you that the camera is offline and is not recording. This is a great, great, great use case. You, The worst thing that you want is to go pull footage from an incident that happened and you're unable to see that footage because the camera went offline two weeks ago. So this way you're going to know immediately if the camera goes offline. Second viewpoint I'm going to show you is going to be our floor plan. So here we're looking again at our headquarters in San Mateo, but I can toggle back and forth between buildings, back and forth between floors, and I can see all of the green dots are where cameras are placed. So something I really wanna highlight here is our people heat map. People heat map is showing us historical data of where individuals have been. I think this is amazing for COVID. I know that our cleaning staff looks at this and our office manager tells our cleaning staff where people are congregating. So not surprising. We have people in the kitchen area. We have people in our elevator bay. One of the conference rooms and front entrance look to be like the most packed. So maybe we want to take some extra time cleaning those areas. Secondly, if you do have a few Verkata cameras rolled out, but you're seeing a ton of congregation, maybe in a back corner or some hallway you didn't think of, this is going to have you, um, this is going to really help so that you know that you're getting camera coverage in that area. From here, I'm going to toggle into one of our outdoor front entrance cameras. This is live footage, live uh, recording of the outside of our building here. And gone are the days of you having to fast forward and rewind through historical footage in order to find an incident. Verkata has made it incredibly simple to search for incidents here. I can look back, choose a specific day that I would like to look for footage, and then I can also break these video clips down into more digestible time frames. So I can even break it down into the hour. Maybe I know something happened between 12 and 1. 
and I can scrub this footage. Every time I see a blue tick mark, that is when the camera has caught a person on its in its view. So here, if I go into the middle of the night, hopefully I don't see too many people walking and trying to get into the front door. But if I did, you know, that footage would be very easily easy for me to collect. Taking this one step further are our people analytics. So if I click this people tab here, I am going to get a feed of every time a person was caught on camera. Why would I want this in case there's an intrusion, in case there's someone unwanted on campus? Someone maybe is coming in late at night or we know that there was a theft incident. Here we can pull and see all of the people. Maybe if we're doing an investigation, this is gonna come into play. And I can take this another step further. Let's say we have an expelled student on campus and he or she is wearing a red shirt. We wanna see where they went, if they took anything, what might've happened. Here I can filter by everyone wearing a red shirt, can take a look through. And here, maybe it's this guy. It looks like he's carrying a package. He might've taken something from the office and I wanna take a closer look at that footage. It's gonna play it back for me. Now, yeah, he can't get to the building. Maybe he's not meant to be here. Something's going on. I wanna save this clip. Possibly it's an intruder. I can archive unlimited amount of footage with Verkata. So think of the archive as your digital library. You can save as much as you want. From the archive, you can always share this footage out with the individuals that need to take a closer look at it. One additional piece that we can do is actual person of interest notifications. So here I've been talking a little bit in hypotheticals, right? Maybe this person was wearing a red shirt, but I don't exactly know who it was. Well, let's say we do know who it was. I'm gonna upload a picture of our co-founder Hans. So if you do know the individual that was caught on campus and you wanna make sure that they do not come on campus again without you being notified, we can set that up. So here I've pulled that, I wanna see all the footage of Hans and you know what? Hans has been taking too many snacks from the snack room. I don't want him coming on campus anymore. I don't want anything to happen without me knowing it. I can set up a notification and create a person of interest notification so that I am notified either by text message or email anytime this person is on campus. And this can be with one camera or can be all of your cameras. So if you want them to not be caught on any of your district's cameras, we can set that up that way or we could do it building by building. From here, I'm going to toggle into our archive. And if you remember, this is where I was saving footage. So if you look at our, our archive, we've got tons of saved footage for demo purposes here, some disregards, possible intruders. But if I click into this clip, I can do a couple of things here. I can download this as a traditional MP4, save it to my desktop, email it out. But real unique thing about Verkata, and this is the live link that was shared earlier by Kenzie, is I can share this out using a text, email, or an embedded link. So idea behind this is we don't want to download something and have it get into the wrong hands. No one uses thumb drives anymore. It's 2020. We want to be able to quickly see this. I want to be able to get on my email. You want to tell the first responders exactly what's going on, and you want them to have access to the footage for a controlled amount of time. You have the ability to change how long you would like someone to view this footage. So let's say we want to give the police a week to view it, or maybe we want to give facilities a week to view it. You have that in your control, and you can set those customized timelines there. can add in contacts or share with external individuals as well. From here, I'm going to show you a few additional settings that we can configure within our cameras. So I'm going to head into our kitchen camera here. Looks like someone's getting a mid-afternoon snack. And I'm going to pull up our settings. So on each of the cameras, we can set specific settings. We can set motion notifications. This is going to be important if you think perhaps we don't want someone getting into the building at a certain time. Maybe we want to be notified if someone's trying to open the front door between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. You can set that up on a camera by camera basis, and we can even do it down to a specific area. If you have a safe or if you have something very sensitive, like, I don't know, perhaps someone pulling the fire alarm, anything like that, you guys can make it as big or small as you want in terms of the motion grid, or you can make it the entire field of view itself. Crowd notifications, we actually just rolled this out for COVID, was a feature request by some of our customers to be notified if loud, large crowds were gathering in this field of view of the camera in this specific section. 
And then of course, an audit log, this is all for you guys in case you're audited and, and need to know what happened on any specific camera. From there, I want to touch really briefly on site management and then show you our sensors very quickly before we get into the Q&A. So site management here, again, for those buildings and for those of you on the line who may have multiple buildings, this is going to be wonderful for you to manage all of your sites from one repository. So here, of course, I can take a look at my HQ at Bricotta cameras, but if I want to go look at the London cameras, easy, can click into London. It's nighttime there and it's going to pull up everything that's going on. I can go into their floor plans. I see how many cameras are live. Looks like we've got six. And this makes it very, very simple for you guys to quickly go back and forth, pull incidents. Everything is very easy to find. Last thing I want to touch on again are the sensors. These are becoming very popular with our schools just to know exactly what's going on in those areas, as I mentioned, where you might not be able to put a camera. So here, if I pull in our entrance from reception, this is pretty self-explanatory, but here we have all of the different, um, I guess, sense, things that our sensors are capturing. Most sensors in the market are honestly only capturing one to two of these. So great thing about Bercada is we're catching all of them. Sometimes we get really excited in the office and our noise decibel will go way up. But if it's nighttime or if you're in a bathroom and you can't catch something. Hopefully there's not bullying or anything like that going on, but it is good to know and have that, you know, additional knowledge into what might be going on. And then of course, vape and smoking. Those are big ones for schools. Air quality is not looking too great with everything that's going on here in California, but again, it's just great access into what's going on. And you can set specific alerts if things get over a certain range. So with that, I am going to hop back into our presentation view. And as Ramin had mentioned, we do do free trials of our cameras. So if you are interested in testing out the hardware and trying things out for yourself, I'm absolutely happy to send those to you. You can email SLED at itmanagement.com. They'll get you guys all connected with the appropriate representative here at Verkata and make sure that you have the models that you would like. Our models do span, um, we have bullet cameras, dome cameras, and additionally fisheye cameras that see 180 degrees. So happy to talk with you a little bit more about your needs, what exactly you're trying to see, and then match up the great, the best free trial with you. Uh, we do cover shipping both ways on those. And I want to open it up to Q&A really before we kind of wrap things up. So would love to answer any questions that have come up. I can hop back into the platform and show you some things as well. Hey, Tori. So this is Danny. Uh, we have a couple questions coming in from the audience. Um, is the system, does the system have extreme bandwidth because it's always recording to the cloud? Great question. So actually, we are the most bandwidth friendly solution on the market. So we have a hybrid cloud approach. And actually, when it is at rest, it is only using about five to 20 kilobits per second. Basically, what it's doing is sending tiny encrypted thumbnails of metadata up to the cloud. That's what's saving the bandwidth. So while it's recording 24 seven, you can think of it as sending those little tiny thumbnails up to the cloud. And that's basically the equivalent of sending a Gmail email per second. Now, when we are going back to view it, we get up in about the 150 to 300 kilobits per second range when I'm playing something back. So what my demo has been for you guys, playing something back is going to use a little bit more bandwidth. But we do roll out. I mean, we have, as you mentioned, about 100 cam or as I sh showed you about 100 cameras here at our Ricotta HQ and have no issues with uh, with bandwidth or with anything kind of crashing on us internet wise. Thanks, Tori. So this, this person said they have a remote location that's difficult for power or, or uh, data. Do you guys have wireless cameras? How would mm -hmm. we do that? So we would need power. I, if you want to shoot us an email after, our solutions engineering team can try to work something up with you guys. Um, I would leave that to our engineers. 
And we'll, we can get some more data around that and see what can be done, but they do need power to run. So could be um, could be a little bit more of an endeavor, but reach out to us and, and I'll get you connected with an engineer. What are the POE requirements for the cameras? So you will need a Cat5 or Cat5 cat five or cat six cable plugged into the camera and then plugged into a switch so as long as you have you know a poe injector of sorts uh, you guys should be good to go and they do uh run around 10 to 12 watts from what i know um can you talk a little bit more about access control how does it work with uh ricotta um does it work with a keypad like what's the devices at the door is it a card reader yeah great question and i can go back into my demo environment so that you guys can see access control for those of you who may not be super familiar with what that question is referencing. Access control is going to be a badge reader. So it's not a keypad, not an old school key. Your doors do need to be electrified. And it, we work with anything that is a WeGand. So we have card readers ourselves, but we can configure to you guys as long as you're using WeGand. And essentially you can think of this as um, access for any of your employees or staff members into the building. And it does have a native integration with our cameras. So if I pull myself up here, here's me coming in at 7.20 this morning into the main entrance and it's playing back that exact footage of when that happened. Thank you, Tori. Um, what is the, what is like the range of cost and what is like the total cost of ownership for this type of system? Yes. Good question. So when it comes to pricing, there will be two line items. One, the hardware, the camera itself, 10 year product warranty on the camera itself. Two is going to be a cloud license charge. So we do one, three, five, and 10 year licenses. Now total cost of ownership, you're going to pay that up front but you're not going to have ongoing maintenance costs. So a couple things about Verkata, we have automatic firmware updates. Anything new that comes out is automatically rolled out to all of our customers. You won't need to pay an additional fee to access additional features within Verkata. So um, as we roll out perhaps new tabs here, or um, we just recently rolled out this help feature so that you can quickly chat with our team, anything like that is going to be automatic. You don't need to have someone come on site or update anything that way. So upfront, I would say we're not the cheapest on the market, not the most expensive either, but when you're looking at your total ownership over 10 years, the maintenance that you need to do on a Verkata camera is essentially nothing. And uh, do you guys do the install and the cabling? Does Verkata do that? How does that work? Is yes. <laughs> Good question. So Verkata is the manufacturer. We do not do the installing and the cabling. That would be IT management. So IT management is one of our trusted partners here in the Bay Area. So we partner with them and they would be the ones who would have their contractors out there helping you guys um, basically cable everything, make sure that the cameras are in the proper location. So they work tan in tandem with us when it comes to that. And is it an easy process to switch from analog video to IP video like Ricotta? Mm, so basically if we're looking to rip and replace, um, all we would need to do is work with ITM on your cabling. Realistically, of course, um, I would say the biggest thing is really just change management. I mean, changing any system is going to come with some sort of, um, you know, rip up of what you had before. But when it comes to actually installing Verkata and getting it up and running, it's so simple. It literally comes online once you have it plugged in. And as you can see, it's very easy to use. So I would say once you get going, um, super simple, but would need to work with our resellers and installers on what exactly the cabling is going to look like for you guys. Um, there was a question related to what about 101 voice, which is a voice over IP phone system. Are there any, is that, does this have anything to do with that or is it related to that? Um, is there integrations? Great question. And I'll leave that to Ramin. They are separate. So 101 voice is a IT management product, not a Verkata product. But Ramin, if you want to answer the kind of like, what is 101 voice question and give a little update on that, that'd be great. Absolutely. Uh, well, as you said correctly, 101 Voice is not a Verkata product. However, uh, what uh, IT management uh, always aspires to do is to combine a collection of 
different individual, uh, you know, uh, solutions to create a, a comprehensive, you know, best for every environment. And we feel that, you know, uh, between the three services that Verkada offers currently, and it will be expected for it to continue to grow, environmental sensors, door access, and uh, camera system, uh, one one voice has the capability of tying into your uh, public addressing and uh, speaker system. Uh, it is a voice over IP system, and it has uh, other features for safety and security, such as uh, you know, uh, anything that in a uh, in, in an environment, God, God for it, you know, in the past we have had, as as you know, issues with uh, shootings, etc. Uh, it is it has a very robust uh, 911 and uh, administrator notification services. So these things tie nicely together. They're not from the same manufacturer. Does IT management offer uh, what do, what do they offer for distant learning type technologies? For distant learning, we have a variety of uh, solutions that would uh, accommodate the uh, environment, you know, uh, where some of the students are uh, away and the, and the teacher is teaching from the classroom with some students present or no students present. Uh, there's, as you as you all know, uh, the barking dog and the distractions from noise, whether it's uh, coming from the uh, lecture or, or in the environment where the students are learning. Uh, they have all been, uh, there have been uh, technological advancements that uh, come together and they're not very expensive, they're very effective and uh, IT management has uh, actually been deploying large quantities of hybrid classroom solutions along with distant learning, uh, digital equity solutions for underprivileged environments, etc. All of those things, many of which have government funding uh, available. Uh, uh, and stops to be available. So I would be very happy. Maybe this would be slightly outside the scope of Gercada presentation we have today. Uh, but this actually is a nice segue also for us to say that we have informative, similar webinars on these topics also coming up, and we will talk to you about that as well. Okay, one more question, Tori, jumping back to the Gercada uh, platform. What is the warranty on those cameras? 10 years. 10 years, all right, that was, that was it. Um. Amazing. Well, thank you all for your time. And to echo Ramin, we do have a couple of upcoming webinars. Um, one that IT management is hosting on the 13th. So I believe that is in yeah, two weeks from now um, on distance learning and hybrid classroom solutions. So they'll be talking a little bit more about some of the products and services that they offer in that regard. And then Ramin and I will be talking again, um, probably beginning of November. We are setting a date now to dive deeper into the environmental sensors and really just do a full walkthrough on common use cases there and just dive deeper into that particular product. But if you do have any additional questions, want to attend an upcoming webinar or want to get a free trial camera, email sled at itmanagement.com and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks so much, everyone. If in conclusion, if I may add one, one last uh, uh, parting sentence, and that is uh, with 10 years of warranty, with ability to start with as few as one camera and still go to thousands of cameras without having to uh, provision for a massive deployment right off, off top, uh, with uh, ability to uh, sell back your existing technology, uh, camera technology, and get credit from Mercada and IT management uh, for your older systems, and considering that right now many of the organizations don't have, uh, you know, the uh, students present, and therefore deployment can be a lot quicker and uh, less painful. This might be the best time uh, for you to look at Verkata cameras. Uh, they gladly will send you one, two, three uh, cameras. We'll help you set them up. Uh, once you look at Verkada, my uh, thoughts are that you will never be looking at another camera solution, and, and I hope you take advantage of this. Amazing. Couldn't have said it better. Thanks, Ramin, and thanks, everyone, for joining. Look forward to chatting with you guys here soon. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.